Hey there, Justin from You Join Off-Road in Colorado here. Sending this one home today. This is a 2016 E350 V10 with a 6R140 in it. Uh, so this is a 419G. These are super cool. You've probably seen these before as uh, Cruise America RV rentals. Um, but this guy's had this one for a long time. Uh, it actually has 188,000 miles on it. Uh, he just drives this thing like crazy. He's a, a, a kayak guide right here in Colorado. So he takes it all over the place as his, uh, his base camp rig. Um, but he needed some more off-road capability out of it because um, he had two rigs. He would take this as base camp and then he would have an excursion as a shuttle rig. So now he wanted it all condensed down to one rig. And this, uh, this really fit the bill for him. So we started off with our standard recipe, six inch four wheel drive conversion. Single Fox 2.0s, custom spec Alcan Springs, made right here in Grand Junction. Of course, our standard clean and paint of the frame. This one got a stage two front axle with the uh, Spintech front hub conversion with the SSBC brakes. Um, this thing's actually single wheel from the factory. So it's got a Dana 70 dually axle in the back with just a single wheel bolted on it. Um, so we kept it single, we went with 35s. So it's got the American Racing uh, 17 by nine uh, Baja wheels, and then some Falcon 35, 12, 50, 17s. But what we decided to do, so we didn't have to change the bolt pattern in the back, is we just ran the, the hub conversion in the front to eight on six and a half. So this is still eight on six and a half bolt pattern, so we can run the same wheels with no adapters in the back, which is nice. So it's got the FB002 front bumper, just got a winch in it, no real crazy extras on that. The uh, OBA port is plumbed up, Anderson plug is hooked up, it's got our front receiver in it. We did a new black Ford grill in it. So we went 488s on this one. This thing lives its life pretty much just going up and down the mountains here. So we wanted to make sure it had plenty of power, had plenty of gear ratio to take it easy on the transmission as much as possible. And of course, it's got the Detroit True Track in the front axle. Um, we did the Bushwhacker fender flares in the front. We did our U-joint cab chassis side steps. Helwig sway bar upgrade in the front. And of course, custom 1350 CV drive shafts front and back. Um, the 6R140 on this one actually did have to come out and be completely rebuilt. And we did a full upgrade on it of the high mileage, new valve body, new torque converter, everything, and got an NP1128 T case behind that. Got our overload airbags in the back, because uh, he does have some varying weight on this thing. So he had this bumper made elsewhere a while back with all the receiver hitches in it, so he can put mountain bike racks on it, kayak racks, whatever kind of adventure he may be guiding he can he's got different racks that slot into those receiver tubes which is pretty cool but a lot of varying weight on the back of it so we decided to go with the bags um, we generally don't build these Dana 70s because in most cases they already have 456 gears in them um, but since we were going to 488 we decided we were going to try something a little new so this one actually got a Auburn locker in the back of it um, which is a first for us. There's really no good options for a Dana 70 locker. Um, there's ARBs, which we don't really like. And then this Auburn is an e-locker. And so far, we're really happy with it. So um, had to get swapped out to 35 spline chromoly axle shafts as well. And of course, custom springs in the back too. Um, we had to get a little tricky on the mounting of the OBA. So the compressor is up high over there. And then the tank lives right here above the sewer drain pipe. So full rebuild on the rear axle, all new brakes, new parking brake shoes, new seals, new wheel bearings, new everything just due to the mileage. And then up on the dash, no S-Pod because we're not running a ton of accessories. But we've just got the ARB compressor switch there and then the rear locker switch and we're four by four light down here and it's got our two-piece transfer case shifter as well 
Yeah, this thing is a super cool rig. We've all really fallen in love with this thing. It's just the perfect size for, for a two-person rig, even three people. Two people and a kid, this would be the perfect rig for. So if you have any other questions, um, feel free to leave them down in the comments. You can email me, justin at ujoinoffroad.com. Um, if you're inquiring about install in North Carolina or a DIY kit, email chris at ujointoffroad.com. Thanks.